Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today I am standing here in my dining room. Uh, behind me is my china cabinet because today I'm actually going to clean it all out. I have already, turn this camera around, I have already cleared out all the drawers or the cabinets. So all the drawers have been cleared. You can see all the dust that needs to be wiped off. So everything is cleared out. Just don't think everybody needs to watch me clear all this stuff out because I was just moving it to my kitchen. So my counters are really full of all these dishes. You can see where the dishes were sitting. You can see the dust. So it's been probably about two years since I've actually took everything out and dusted the inside. The top of this does get dusted on a pretty regular basis. Uh, and this is all this extra stuff that I've got up here. So anything that is Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Easter, or any other holiday are not going back in here. So you can see I've got all this, these dishes. So my little cute little snowman cookie, um, cookie jars are not going back in. They take up too much room. Um, I've got some dishes that are not mine, but they have to go back into the china cabinet. I've got this really nice set. Now it's not mine, it's so pretty. Um, it is called Kentish, uh, is it? Kentri Kentish Rockery. Uh, it's not mine. It belonged to my ex-husband's family and it was, you know, my kids inherited. So that until they have a place of their own, it sits in, uh, my China cabinet. And then I have this set. This set again is not mine. It belonged to my husband's mom. But it's, again, my husband has it, so it sits in our china cabinet. So those, I'll have to, I do want to put those in and display them really nicely. So, and here's the top of my china cabinet. I got all this stuff up here. I've got real crystal mixed with, you know, like, there's the Halloween juice jug. So the Halloween juice jug is going to be not in my dining room anymore. I've got, oh, there's where it went. Ah. I was looking for this when I was doing my bedroom and I couldn't find it. Here it is. A little crystal uh, ring holder. It was sitting on my uh, china cabinet. Wouldn't think of looking for it there. <laughs> but it's good that I finally found it. So I will be putting that upstairs in my room. And then I've got a few other things back there that I've got a special place to put them. All these little... Uh, Rose, I think it was for roses, went in here. Um, I've got five of them because I got one from my husband and then one from each of my kids. Uh, they used to have the labels as to who they were from. The labels have all been, you know, like it was just tied on. The labels have kind of come off, but I have the the little thing. I think it was, um, I believe it was Mother's Day when I got those a couple of years, quite a few years ago. So I said I'm just gonna figure out what I've got up here that I'm keeping or not keeping. Uh, so then I'm gonna just go and get the stuff I need to clean and dust. I'm gonna turn my light on in the china cabinet if I can reach it. Where is it? There it is. I'll just put the lights on so I can easier to see to clean. Now, while I'm doing this, I will be using my other new stand. Um, I'll show you this. My sister got me this. Uh, show. So it has the microphone and the light ring on a really good high stand, uh, the tripod stand. I needed that one. I have a little mini, mini um, desktop with the microphone. So I will be testing this out today and seeing how much better it works uh, with the microphone. I hope that makes it easier for people to hear. I know sometimes um, I don't always use the microphone only because it's... Uh, it's on the tabletop tripod and so I'm not always using that one so instead of right now I guess right now I'm just using like a little selfie stick for right now so I mostly just use my phone when recording so I'm gonna be setting that up and testing it to see how that works while I clean up my china cabinet so I will be back in a few moments when I'm ready to clean inside my china cabinet So now I have the ring light with the microphone stand 
set up. I don't have the microphone. I think I, I think I attached this upside down. So I'm going to have to take this off. It's also not in the right spot. Now, one thing is, sorry about that. The microphone has that kind of a connection, you know, like a standard. Plug it into your uh, earphone jack. My phone that I use to record is a Galaxy Note 20. So with that, so instead of having an audio jack, my phone has, one second, this doesn't wreck anything. Mine has the stylus. I don't use headphones. I didn't notice it wasn't anything I was worried about. I love the note. I finally was able to get one a year ago. I've been waiting for, uh, I think about nine or 10 years is how long I think the first note came out and I've wanted one. So I finally got one. So it comes with a stylus. So the stylus takes up the space for where the audio jack would be. So my last microphone stand, my husband bought me a bunch of these little splitters for the audio jack to hook up to my uh, phone. So I'm going to, sorry, my hand is just in the way. It's so hard to do this. So I'm gonna plug that in. I'm gonna plug this into my phone and um, turn this on and I will see if that improves the sound of my videos. Like I said, I do have to go and I gotta fix this because I've got this upside down, I believe. So I went to put the microphone in and it's, I don't, I've got the arm, it just, it looks upside down. So I'm just gonna have to take a quick second and look at that. But there is my new uh, tri tripod uh, with the microphone. So I will be using this for the rest of the video. So I'm hoping it's the microphone is working. So I will be right back as soon as I get my phone attached to the tripod and I gotta double check that the microphone is the right direction or the, the microphone holder is the right direction and I just got to grab my cleaning products so I'll be right back I've now got the rest of the china cabinet cleared out it was the top shelf I've got this in my hand I just, I love this my little extender microfiber duster I just went and dusted the inside and the outside so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using to clean this uh, I was at uh, Home Depot a couple weeks ago getting cleaners for my master bathroom. I had some stuff I needed to get to really clean you with know, the grout and the tiles and stuff. And I found this. This is the Arlene's Multi-Purpose Bathroom Cleaning Vinegar and it's in the lavender fragrance. Um, I know I can't use this on wood, but I'm trying to see if it will work because I've got glass shelves in here and it says it's good for mirrors. So I'm thinking it should clean the the glass shelves in here really good and of course I have Pledge and there's the English side I bought the moisturizing oil um, it's got the it says it's amber and argon scent so it's supposed to help condition to make your wood look new again so it's the Pledge I thought this would be different uh, fragrance because I usually do the a pledge or any of the other sprays in the lemon scent so when I saw this one and this one says revive I've got some hardwood my stairs need to be repaired like kind of fixed because they've got um, the cats have scratched them or the pets have scratched them so I thought maybe this would help on that and so I thought I'll try it out on here and of course to give this a good clean I use my Murphy oil soap for all hardwood I have another bottle that's been used. I can't find it, so I guess I have to open a brand new bottle. But before I open this, I'm just gonna double check the cupboard because I know I had a lot of cleaning products. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not opening a bottle if I don't have to, unless this has already been opened. Actually, this has already been opened. So obviously when I was cleaning, I already did use up the other bottle because I knew I had one that was almost empty. 
So I'm just gonna grab some warm water and the bucket to add this to, because I forgot to grab that, and my gloves. And then I will be back and I will start recleaning the inside of my china cabinet. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna try this a third time. My camera is just not recording. So what I've got here is I've got a bucket with warm water and to that I've added about a cap full of the Murphy's oil soap. I'd shown you I did it, but then I realized the little green light wasn't lit up. And then I tried it a second time and it still wasn't working. I hope it's working. I think it's working now. So uh, just a cap full of the Murphy's oil soap. And I'm just gonna move my camera so you can get a better angle. I just, I just, I've gotta lower it down because I, the way I'm sitting, it's hurting my knee. Just one second. All oh, right, I had just cleaned my entire china cabinet, thinking that it was on, and realized that I hit pause instead of play. So I just did my whole china cabinet in the last 10 minutes thinking I was showing you how I cleaned it and none of that footage got, <laughs> got recorded. I didn't even notice. Okay, I was trying to figure out why the last 10 minutes only said 44 seconds or something. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> okay, so I'm been cleaning up my china cabinet today. So I will go quickly through the steps to show you what I did. Uh, okay, so I said I'm using my Murphy's oil soap, uh, one capful, and a bucket of warm water. I have my pledge. Uh, I'm using this Revive Moisturizing Oil with the Amber and Argon scent. I can say yes, the Murphy's oil. I didn't make a comment. It smells like citronella. Uh, I was trying to figure that out. So I mean, that's probably when I my thing stopped because I wanted to see what. It had the nice fragrance and I couldn't figure what it was. So I paused it to read my, my ingredient list and it's citronella smell. And I'm also using this Arlene's multi-purpose bathroom cleaning vinegar with the lavender. And I will say it doesn't smell like lavender. It smells like vinegar. So I'm going to just, I've done the inside. I showed you how to do the inside. I guess I'm going to be showing you how to do the outside. So because I've already cleaned it, it doesn't really need to be cleaned. I'm just going to go through the steps, put gloves on because I've already <laughs> done this <laughs> with my camera on pause. I just, oops, so I'm just moving my uh, camera so it doesn't fall. Um, so I'm not using gloves because I've already done it, but I've got my... Two cloths, so I'm using my blue cloth is wet, my purple one is dry. So I just go around here, I'm just using the Murphy oil soap around everywhere to get it all clean. Like I said, it's gonna be really clean. The outside of this is gonna be super clean, well, that's okay. Now I'm going to take the dry cloth and just dry it off because I, you don't want a lot of water to be left on the furniture, like wood. Uh, this is not, I don't know what kind of wood this is. I don't know if it's a real wood or if it's just a wood veneer on here. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's a wood veneer because it has bubbled inside one of these drawers. I don't know what caused it. It was like, I think it was like that when we got it. Okay. So clean all inside and outside like that. I did all the drawers in and out. Clean them really good. With the Murphy's oil soap, really, really good. Uh, I was giving tips. Oh, I'm just, oh. I don't know. I'm just talking about the product, what I, how I use this. So I love this Mercy, Murphy's oil soap. So I've got this bucket here because next I'm going to be doing my uh, railings going up the stairs, which is why I had bought this pledge. It's the Revive. I usually just buy a generic uh, furniture polish from Walmart, Superstore, Dollar Stores, wherever. But I thought I was at Home Depot getting some cleaner, so I. Thought I'd grab a bottle of this one when I saw this one was the Revive. Some moisturizing oil. 
conditions to look like new again and I can say oh, it really does my china cabinet actually looks really good it hasn't looked this shiny in quite a long time especially the top okay so we've got this all dry next I've got pledge so I'm just gonna cloth this cloth I was using with the pledge so I'm just I always go with the grain. When I'm cleaning, I always try to go with the grain as much as possible. Sometimes it's a little tricky to know which way the grain is. So you have to look at your furniture. So like these, I'm going side to side on here, and then I'm realizing the grain on these goes up and down. But I want to buff the pledge into the wood just to give it a nice protective coat so then I will go up and down for the final bit all the way straight from the bottom straight to the top because the grain lines from every drawer line up all in here and I gotta get between the handles. That's always a tricky spot too, is getting in and around any hardware handles, things like that, depends on the shape of the handles too. And I also just wanna take a dry, oops, dry part of this and just kind of buff the handles where I can see where I kind of sprayed them, just to get some of that pledge off of them so they look nicer. I do have uh, it's cleaner that I use on my handles. I don't know where it is at the moment. I was looking for it earlier. I'm just gonna wipe these off because I'm doing this. Uh, just because I've been cleaning my house, I've got cleaners just everywhere in my house right now. I'm just tightening those. They felt loose earlier. I tightened the one, so I'm just gonna tighten that one. So now, we, now I'm just gonna wipe it straight down with the grain. It's tricky to get, do the drawers with the hardware, but just trying to do it the best I can just to kind of go with the grain so I get the nice shine so you don't see. So if, you, if you go against the grain, you're going to notice your streak, your wiping marks. I guess not really streak marks, but they will look more like streaks if you go against the grain. So I try my best to go with the grain. So sometimes you have to go vertical, sometimes horizontal. Sometimes it's easier to go the one direction to polish in the space. might be easier for you to go like these drawers. It was easier for me to wipe them going this way, but then the final wipe going up and down to get the grain. So sometimes you have to go against the grain. As long as your final um, strokes, I guess, are with the grain, then you're not going to notice that. Or if you do a I know some people do the circular motion. I don't like that because to me sometimes you do get a little bit too much of the cleaner into some of the grooves and you get those circle patterns and it just, it doesn't look, I know it doesn't look as good. Okay, and then I've got my glass because I've got glass shelves. Oops, I'm knocking my cleaner over. Okay, I've got two glass shelves on both the, the sides the doors are so I sprayed those so I'm just gonna do the outside of this one just do a nice little spray of the cleaning vinegar and I'm just gonna wipe this off now I really want to get into the corners here because uh, using the the pledge it's usually where the pledge will go it will go into the corners so I always wipe the corners first and then the center just because I did the pledge first now doing these doors what I did for the pledge for these doors is because there's not a lot of room maybe like two so inches width before here and then I've got the little lip in here 
on both sides just the way this door is made i actually going around the doors i spray the pledge on the cloth and then wipe it off it just less product to go in the wrong spot Oh, that must be on the inside. This corner here is bugging me. Must be. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was the inside. Because now that little, that would have been a little spot of the pledge. My cabinet here has got a little problem with the, the hook. It's not quite lined up anymore. Now I said it took me 10, 15 minutes to clean this whole cabinet. So now it is done. So I will be right back. I'm just going to put the cleaners aside for when I do the stairs. And I'm just going to grab my um, table runner that I put on the top of my china cabinet. And I'm going to start putting all my uh, dishes back in. So I'll be back when I start putting everything away. Oh. Recording kit. Yes, it's recording. I'm just double checking. Uh, so I've got the cleaners put away for now. I've got my nice little table runner up here. It needs to be clean, but I just I don't have time. My kids have stuff in the machine, so I can't clean it today. But that's okay for right now. Everything else here is clean. Um, I do have doilies, but I can't find them at the moment. I've been clearing up my house, moving everything around. I don't remember where I put the doilies. So I do have the bottom shelves. So I said the first two shelves are glass. The bottom ones are the wood. So they're really dark. So when you put dishes and things that are kind of darker down there, you can't see them. So I've got this little placemat here. I've got a bunch of these. I love these little ones. Um, I might put that on there. I'll have to see the size. Now I also have these napkins that I had picked up never used them yet so they're brand new they still got all the creases from they were in the package i think i bought these at bed bath and beyond it was a set of eight i believe i think i think it's eight and um, so i like the size i mean nice little uh, napkins so i might put these in i have to see the size decide which I'd like. I just need the bottom two. The top two I'm gonna to leave with the glass so the light can go through. So I'm just trying to figure out this new tripod for my sister. So I'm just trying to, if I can just angle this, oops, not that like that. I'm just trying to, oh yeah, see it's tipping on me. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit <laughs> used to getting, you know, getting used to this tripod, it's just, just, uh, sorry, it's just, my phone is on here and my phone just wants to pull everything down. Let me make sure I got this tight in there. Yeah, see, my phone is pulling it down again. I don't know. I don't want my phone to fall. I don't want the tripod to fall and break, but it is just, I've got to stop for a second and tighten something. Okay, just trying to. Standing up, I was just trying to move the tripod up and down so I could get a better view and then just wanted to tip over again. Okay, so this is the top two shelves here are both glass on both sides. It's this bottom one here. I don't know if I can angle this down. Okay, see now when I go to angle it, my phone is just keeps falling down. It's going, still going. I don't know what's wrong. Why does this tripod want to do that? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna hold the tripod like this for a second. So this bottom one here is very dark. So I'm just gonna see. I've got these two options. I'm just gonna open this one and see the size of it. See, it kind of covers not a lot. I mean, because I think what I want to put in here is gonna need a bigger surface area. So I'm gonna check. This one, if I let go, my thing is just gonna fall. I'm just gonna see if I put this one, if this will take up, yes, yeah, see, that will fill up the whole, oops. I'm just gonna stop for another second, maybe. Uh, let's see. Okay, a little closer, there. 
Now see if I use this one, it takes up the fills up the whole bottom. That might be a little too big. So I have to decide which of these two I want. I mean I can even put if I put these ones up here, it still looks really nice because I've done that too. It kind of keeps some of the dust off. But because I'm not sure what's going on these shelves, how much room I'm going to be needing. But I think I'm going to go with these ones. There. Do that. And get the dishes. Because I can always push these more forward and have a bigger space because the stuff will be further to the back. So I'm just going to put the doilies, I guess they're actually napkins or placemats, on every one of the shelves. And bring the dishes down here and get my tripod uh, fixed because it's tipping again. So I'll be right back in one moment. Oops, just about knocked my tripod over, just trying to reopen this door. I'm actually just using my selfie stick at the moment. Uh, I had to charge my phone, it died. So I'm not sure where my last video ended. I know I said I was going to start putting my stuff away. And I didn't realize that my phone died while I was doing that. That may have been part of the problem I had earlier today. I didn't notice. So here's the one shelf. Now, I didn't like the little doily things I had on here. And when I put it on the glass shelves, it didn't let the light come down. So I just took them off. I mean, I still want something on these bottom shelves just to lighten it up. And I usually have other things like bigger um, decorative plates and platters, but I just, I've been cleaning up my house. I'm not sure where they are at the moment. So this is the one side. So it's the bottom shelf. I've got my Japanese tea set that my husband bought me quite a few years ago. Probably like I'd say uh, between uh, eight and ten years ago now. And I have this little neat little serving board here, and it's got the fork and knife that match. Uh, I have never used it, but I always just keep it in my china cabinet. Now I said these dishes here don't belong to me. This is my one of my two tiered platters. I was trying to put it somewhere in the china cabinet, and that's where it would fit. And then here's some more of my serving uh, platters. I use these on a regular basis. Uh, I'm just going to move these little away so I can show this. This I found at, I think it was Salvation Army or Value Village. I can't remember where. One, one secondhand store anyway, so it's one of those two. And... I thought it was interesting because it's like a gravy boat, but it looks like two pieces. It's one piece. And it's I love the pearlized of it. I love the color. It's got a little bit of gold. I'm going to flip it around because I think this is the front. Yeah. So there's the name. Oh, sorry if I can just figure out where my phone is. So it's Yamasen Gold Collection Fine Porcelain Japan 24 carat gold plated so I didn't know any of that because that's where they had the price tag on so I just thought it was really interesting it was probably uh, $5.99 or $7.99 somewhere in that range so like between six and eight dollars which is why I bought it it's so pretty I love it I've I could never use it because I'd, I'd be worried that I would break it but I just love it in my china cabinet, especially when I got the light on. So these are just some cheaper pieces from like Walmart. You know, just the general, like, you know, Thanksgiving um, you know, gravy boat, little plate, little dish, salt and pepper shaker. And this little serving platter here was from the dollar store. Oops. Okay, but this one back here, it's hard to see, but this is really pretty. Oops. A really pretty blue one. I'll just turn it this way so you can see. Uh, this is a hand blowing glass from Turkey. I got a whole, I got several of these hand blowing dishes from Turkey. I get them at like Winners, Marshalls, Home Sense. They're fairly cheap. And then I have this little uh, little teacup here. It says made in Japan. Um, I don't remember. I know some. I think it was a yard sale. Something 
one of my kids found it at a yard sale, so we bought it, and it's been sitting in my china cabinet. Unless the one who bought it, she, if she ever wants it, she can have it. And it's got this cute little porcelain little bird here. And it has a tag, and it says it was made in Western Germany. So if it says Western Germany, you know approximately how old it could be. So that bird just sits there in my china cabinet. And then, oops, wires tangled with the wires. And then this side here, so this bottom, I'll start with the bottom. This bottom is just serving bowls and platters that I use. I've got this really cool one back here. Very loud. I just love that you know that it's an older style based on the colors. And then the back of this, it's hard to read. I just gotta find the light. Where was it made? I'm not gonna be able to read everything because the way it's if I do this, see the way it's just printed right there. Um oh, I can almost make that out. But not really, so I just gotta. And I know it's made in Italy, but I can't make out any other name. Now I could almost make it out just now the way it was um, with my camera. So maybe if I took a picture of it, zoomed in, maybe I could read a little more. But I knew it was an older, like, I don't know, it reminds me of like the 50s, maybe the 60s with those colors and the designs of the pastries. Very loud, trying to get it back in there so these are just my serving platters now this one here and I've got a couple others if you anybody knows it says for a microwave oven only these are actually from old microwaves that you know over the years microwaves stop working whatever you throw them out I always keep these just in case I ever get like um break a microwave hard to find square microwave ones most microwaves now are round but I always keep them from our old microwaves before we throw them out just because they also make a good serving platter. But just in case you ever break the, the one from the microwave you're using. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I think it's just the smell of all the cleaners. Okay. And then these dishes here. I said these ones um, are for my kids. I get to keep them. For, I get to have them in my china cabinet for just a little bit. They belong to my kids' great great grandmother on their dad's side, so I get them for just a little while in my china cabinet. And of course, here's my pinky and blue boy. Uh, I gotta be very careful. I have to repair him. I have repaired him, but see his head keeps falling off. So I've gotta get some stronger glue. Leave it like that. And then of course I've got her picture back there of who who had owned them, those dishes. But then I've got these ones here. So um so this uh, this is a really interesting serving platter I have here too. It's I didn't really like it's a fall color and it's not really, you know, it's a very small serving platter. And the fall colors. I thought it was okay, but I bought it because I oh, just don't want to break it because of the back. German Democratic Republic. So now I got to figure out. I forget now if that was East Germany or West Germany. I forget. I'd have to um, look that up. I have looked that up before, but I can't remember. I think it's West Germany. I'd have to double check. And then I've got this too. I found this at a secondhand store quite a few years ago. I can't remember, um, but it's got something too. I don't own a lot of crystal or glass or anything, but a few items I do own do are very interesting. Now if I can just find, where is it? Right there. I just gotta move it so I can see. It says it's Bohemian or Bo Bohemia Crystal made in Czechos 
Czechoslovenia. So it's made in Czechoslovenia. And it's got a really pretty etched design around the whole top rim here. And I know I got it for just a couple dollars at a little secondhand store. And I don't think they really read that or they just didn't think it would be worth anything. I don't know if it's actually worth anything. It's just an interesting little piece to have. I like this. This is just a cut glass, but it's I use it at Easter. It's a little egg-shaped little candy dish. But I always keep it in my china cabinet and it only comes out and sits on the kitchen or the dining room table for Easter dinner. That is it. I've got this cute little cream and sugar. I like the little sugar. It's got little pedestal feet. It's like a poppy design. I also have the little little serving platter that goes with it. And then I have this. I'm just going to pull this up so you can see the top. It's got this cute little bee on here. Um, so it's got the little beehive for the honey. I got that at a store in the mall that no longer exists. Um, they changed their name a couple times. So I think, uh, think Kitchen was one of the names. They had another name and I don't remember. Now as for my personal um, good china, this is all that I have left. So I've got this one cup and saucer. And so it's got the Canadian flag and the maple leaves. And this is the Canada Royal Albert. And this one is called From Sea to Sea. And I've got this little old little plate here. It's got this little mill scene. And it's called the Old Mill. So that one. And then I have these two, which I thought were Queen Anne. They still could be. They don't say it on the back. They just say Royal Albert Bone China. Regal series, same with this one, Royal Albert Bone China England Regal series. Now they had, I have, probably about 15, 17 years ago, actually had the cups that go with this. So this is like a nice royal blue and this is like the mustard yellow. And I don't remember what the cups look like. I know they had the gold trim all over them, but the cups are long gone. That's all I have left. I've had other tea cups and saucers, and that is what I have left. I've got one cup and saucer, and then I got a couple little saucers. Because we've had several moves and kits and dishes break when you don't have a china cabinet. I used to just store them in my cupboard with my regular dishes. Then I got this little bowl here. My mom gave that one to me. I don't really know. I just know it's an old design. I believe the flowers in it is called or the crocus. I'd have to double check. That's what I think they are. And then up here, so I've got my nice big serving platter that I use a couple times a year. And then behind it, I've got my juice jug that I use all the time, but I've got nowhere to store it. And then I just got some of my little crystal um, pedestal platters here. I've got two of them. I've got one. Got to get repaired using it and it just that part came off. My husband tried to fix it and it came off again so I have to get some stronger glass glue. And then I just got this. This is a nice little Easter little plate and then I've got this other one here and it holds the doubled eggs. And as I was trying to put all my um, Christmas and Thanksgiving dishes away, but I have this one platter I recently bought the three tier tray and I've got nowhere for it. It is so tall. If you see, it's like from the top of my china cabinet. I've got this little alcove thing and it almost touches the ceiling. So it's very tall. I don't have any safe place to store it. So I figure it can just stay here and I can just um, use this as a cute little tray when it's not Christmas or even at Christmas, but just leave it here on my china cabinet and just set it up for the different seasons or just leave it as is because it's just tucked in the back. And then I do have some of these little lambs and rabbits. So this little lamb here, I have quite a few years. I bought it at Target. This one here, I bought a couple years ago. I got this from um, 
home scents. And I bought it because it matched my lamb and my other bunny, this one here. I also bought this one at Target. It's probably about, I think it was seven years ago, eight years ago, we lost Target. So I have these two. But I got them from uh, Target. I didn't think I would ever, well, ever find anything else because I love the gold. So the bunny's got the gold in the ears and the lamb's got the gold on the feet and in the ears. And then a couple of years ago when I saw this bunny with the gold and the ears, I had to buy it. And then, of course, sitting out here, I've got my teapot and cream and sugar of my little bunny family. And then I got these little eggs here. One of my kids made them in school. But I use them every Easter for you know, just decoration. So that is my entire china cabinet. So he's going to move my tripod. I'm not using the tripod at the second. I've got too many wires and it just... Just using the selfie stick for now because it's just easier when I'm lifting up and down. Trying to show it everything. So there is my china cabinet all finally cleaned out. So, so for the drawers, oops, this big bottom one is still empty because I'm gonna go through the stuff. I've got I've got another place I've been storing um, extra tablecloths. This one I just have a couple extra of these tablecloth protectors. I always every once in a while I just grab one from the dollar store. They're only two or three. I guess they're up to three dollars now. Or does that say three fifty? No, they're up to just three three dollars now. Um, this one I've got see nothing in it and then this one up here I've got some of these plates I've got a whole stack of these I'm not gonna pull them all out I'll just do the one that's on the top a whole bunch of these really clear plates of the flowers are painted on the back side and I got the gold trim I believe this is called milk glass I could be wrong but I've got a whole stack of them and what I want to do is I do have one that actually has the handle well, that has to get repaired. Um, I'm going to put the handle one, you know, in the china cabinet where you can see it. Then all the other ones, I want to get those plant, the, um, what are they called? Plate um, things, I don't know, plate hangers you know kind of those bungee cord ones. I have some, I just don't have enough and then I want to hang them up above my china cabinet. I haven't decided if I want to hang them up in here in the alcove part or just up here above that so they'll be right here around the china cabinet. So that is what I was working on today. Okay, I'm just gonna move down here so I can uh, see this that looks so nice. My china cabinet finally all nice and clean and I can sit here on the floor because I had to move my table against the other wall but just wanted to say uh, thank you to everybody who's watching my video, subscribing to my channel, and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.